or some bushfires uh, exhibit periods of um, unexpectedly severe fire behaviour, um, which may greatly exceed what our, our current fire behaviour prediction systems would lead us to uh, expect the fires to do. And one of the mechanisms that's been um, suggested that is uh, leading to that is uh, coupling between the, the fire uh, itself and, and the atmosphere. Um, and the work that's being done through the coupled fire atmosphere uh, project in the CRC is attempting to um, investigate and develop a capacity to uh, model um, when and where and under what circumstances that might occur. And that's particularly important because um, those sorts of fire events are often associated with um, you know, very significant fire behaviour which might impact on the community or potentially on uh, firefighters who are attempting to um, yeah, suppress a, a going fire. The uh, work that's being done through the coupled fire atmosphere uh, modelling project is using the uh, access weather model and is linking that to a uh, two-dimensional surface uh, fire spread model. Uh, and that's quite, um, yeah, I guess, groundbreaking uh, research. And potentially the, the value of that work is that it uh, will allow us to identify under what circumstances uh, those sorts of events will occur and to be able to predict them in advance. Really the ability to identify um, when these events might occur, what are the important triggers for them, um, so that we can you know, predict well ahead of time and um, make better decisions uh, for um, you know, people who are working on the ground or, or might potentially be in the path of a, uh, a fire that's going to be unexpectedly severe. <laughs>